All right, so now the scale of each island gets adjusted in the place tiles. We take the original width, the original scale is 0.25. We take the current scale, which is 1. So it'll do a factor, which should turn out 4, which is used down here to scale the coordinate um, right here. So when I look up what uh, graphics vertex each physics vertex owns, that's when I do the um, scaling here. So what it looks like is this. So also, I'm using subdivision after it places the island. The weld modifier is applied and then subdivision. As you can see, I was over 60 frames, I mean, uh, over 30 frames per second while I was running that. I can try and go for a stable frame rate by going frame rate and profile. Da, 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 da. 30. So we're getting a stable 30 frames per second, it looks like. We can load in terrain islands as the actor moves. This is just the initial loading in the world. So we've loaded in a bubble. I'm not streaming tiles in and out yet to a list of free tiles, but that's the uh, start of all of it. It looks pretty good. I don't have any textures on there. And then also it's just using noise. It's not using a texture from like a 4K image, but it can because we're using the, the built-in Blender Displace to do this.